excuse is tenable for doing nothing. Doing nothing does not hold the future for nobody. There is nothing in doing nothing. There is nothing in doing nothing. Most young people are too proud to start from the beginning. They are too proud to begin small. They want to be five feet tall the day they were born. They want to start driving a car at birth. A MS fortune, sir. Any life without a strong beginning has no future. Those who despise the days of small things never see great days. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 10, who have despised the days of small things, count them out. They are not part of it. Everything great starts small. Everything big starts small. Everything great starts little. Wake up. You are a student doing nothing. Your mother is running around the kitchen cooking and giving you food to eat and you ate. What an irresponsible life. Yeah. You soon be married and get your own husband's place if you're a lady. And if you're a man, uh, you don't know how to do nothing, it will show. It will show. Mom, let me relieve you of the pressure of the kitchen. I'm here. You can trust me to make the best of meal for you. You are preparing for a future. You got a job in the primary school and you gave your heart to it. And then suddenly, you begin to own schools in the process. Everything about life demands responsibility. Everything. I never had done times in my life including holiday times. No done times. Either scheduled kingdom engagement or any vacation job opportunity. I was having nice time building my future that I knew not. There is nothing in doing nothing. Joseph began performing as a slave, performed as a prisoner, and now, His Excellency was announced in the palace. It's the way it works. Therefore, before you get what you want, whatever your hand find that to do, do it with all your might. All your might, all your might, all your might, for there is nothing in doing nothing. There is nothing in doing nothing. This must go home with you. There is nothing in doing nothing. Excellence does not apply to indolence. It does not apply to the sluggard. It applies only to productively engaging hands. Excellence has to do with performance. It's a function of performance. And when there's nothing performing, excellence is not, <laughs> does not apply to that individual. No one has a future doing nothing. Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before me, man. Again, there is nothing in doing nothing. Proverbs 13:4. The slogan desire it and has nothing. Amen. The soul of the slogan desire it and has nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. The soul of the diligent shall be made fat. The hand of the diligent bears the rule. He reigns at the end, but the slothful shall remain on that tribute. Proverbs 12 and verse 24. You don't want to end your journey as a slave in regret. <sighs> Whatever your hand finds to do it by time, do it, do it, do it with all your might, with all your might, with all your might, with all your might. For there is nothing in doing nothing. There is nothing in doing nothing. Young people, the 
the most accomplished academics in the world began in primary school. You can't become a prof as a toddler. Except by nickname. <laughs> Profi. <laughs> You can't become a general without starting, if I a commission officer, from second lieutenant. You might become a field marshal tomorrow, but that's where you start from. You better find a starting point. You can't climb a ladder without a starting point. Find a starting point for your life. This short man has had quite some brief spares in places, all for hatred for damn times. Hatred for damn times. I'm not a professional teacher, but I've taught in primary school. I'm not a professional teacher, I've taught in secondary school. No damn time. I got married without any leaning on parents or relations. No damn time. I never know I've been teaching all my life, so God was taking me through a teaching crucible to prepare me for a future I didn't know. I had six different meetings within two days and came back last night. I didn't know he was preparing me for it. In our time, a primary school teacher teaches all the classes. I don't know whether they have changed it now. That is from A to Z. General duty teacher. You teach what you know, what you don't know. <laughs> Amen. One day I taught 15 hours in the Bible school in Kaduna. I was like a wind at the end of the lectures. I never knew God was preparing me for things to come. There is nothing in doing nothing. Nobody should live here and go back to the doing nothing platform. You mustn't. The world is a marketplace. It has a place for all and sundry. You are either buying or selling or helping to carry the luggage of those who buy. Everybody is doing something that adding value to his life. So to sit down and do nothing is an insult on your intelligence. It's an insult on your intelligence. Even those who are, who are not graduates are starting lesson schools lessons to teach students. One of our young graduates here from Covenant went to a place and was teaching economics. He made two million during service year. Two million. You look at the village, you won't believe anybody can generate two million. They wanted to pass the subject. That is his area of studies. So he organized teaching these young people. And they were paying the charges. He left the place with two million. Two million. Somebody sending text for his mother to send him a recharge card. Two million. There is nothing in doing nothing. Excellence only applies to performing hands. Productive lives. Excellence is a function of performance. So when we evaluate and appraise people, they say, good, very good, excellent. On the job, there is a job doing <laughs> that earns you excellent output. But there is something in doing nothing. It's called decadence. Through idleness, 
are building decays. People just rot away with their eyes open. They just rot away. By much slothfulness, they're building decays. And through idleness of the hands, the house drops. You always go down doing nothing. <laughs> you always go down doing nothing. There is always a stench in doing nothing. They say, but there's something in doing nothing. Yes, there's a stench, there's a dropping, there's a crashing. That's the meaning. Somebody here was carrying uh, waste bottles, you know, pure water bottles and all that stuff, and selling. <laughs> made a way to U.S. and a degree in an old age, sent all our children to school from waste bottles, waste bottles, waste bottles, waste bottles. And then you are a believer. The vineyard is an open-ended platform for productive service. He that repeat receiveth wages. So there, you don't have any excuse. You are either involved in literal, practical, productive business or in kingdom advancement as a business. Whichever way, you are not permitted to be somewhere doing nothing and being pitied by people. No. All the children I taught in primary school were saved, all of them. But that's my mission. They were saved one by one. I love them with passion. I'm teaching them, I'm ministering to them the salvation of Christ. One time, one vacation, and my old man said, What are you doing during this vacation? I said, Preaching. He said, What? Preaching? He said, That's what you will eat. We were all eating it before he passed. I had a schedule for myself this period. I'm going to cover this and this and this and this. I'm still covering them up to now. Down time is a risk. Doing nothing is a risk. If Joseph could find something doing as a slave, find something doing where you are. If you could find something doing in the prison, there is something around you if you are interested. There's something around you if you're interested. Therefore, let nobody say I'm waiting for a job. You have the mind of Christ. So create, innovate, and invent. Taking advantage of the things around you for legitimate earning. Legitimate earning. Legitimate earning. Somebody's story is changing. That is where your making of our internal excellency begins. There must be something you are engaging with from where you command results in successions until your result is a judge excellent. It is not excellent by title, excellent by output. Excellence by output. One of my friends came here. Um, he said, you know what amazed me in church? Everybody operates like a computer system. It's your turn. You go there. Before any, nobody has to remind you. You know when your turn is over, you come down. He said, no, Mark, I, I don't understand this. You close service and under one hour, you don't know anybody came here to worship. Somebody came here, we were serving communion, we were going to serve communion. He looked at her and said, well, we're in trouble here today. When are we going to live here? <laughs> when are we going to live here? And then he discovered that 11 minutes, everybody was over. 11 minutes, everybody had partaken. He said, you mean everybody has taken? He said, has taken? <laughs> we had some visitors in December and when they saw the crowd coming in for Shiloh, my God, they have been stampeded here today. So they stood there 
And they saw everybody was going like soldier ant. Just going to where you should go and going out when you go, go out to where you should go back to. What kind of place is this? We talk of excellence when there is output. No performance, you don't talk of excellence. It's performance that graduates into excellence. Excellence is a function of performance. You're not performing nothing, 